There you go. There you go. There you go. What's good, man? Yo, Sharon, man. I ain't here from a long time. What up, bro? Yo, it's been a while, bro. I've been, I've been good, man. Just, you know, pandemic, everything. It's just, uh, it, it, it's been fucking everything up. So, um, you know, I definitely, I definitely, I, I know a lot of people are wondering if I'm going to be back to battle rap, if I retired and all that, but I'll be back. But just, you know, when things are right, when there's crowds and everything. So wait, so wait, so you don't like this format now with no crowds? You're not cool with it? I do, I do like it, but um, there's just a, uh, th there's a lot of like other factors going on too. Just especially in 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 uh, in Canada right now, we got. I'm not even sure if you guys know what's going on, but if we leave the country, in order for us to come back, we have to go in a mandatory government hotel uh, as a quarantine, and you have to pay up to three thousand dollars just to be there, stuck in the hotel room. For oh wow! Three to fourteen days. So you can't leave Canada at all, basically. It's not even worth it. You can leave, but you're gonna have to come back to the hotel. And if you refuse to go right. to the hotel, um, they they give you some sort of fine, and it's not really clear what it is. But they're really trying to restrict uh, travel and all that. So it's just making it it's making it super hard to to even do all that right now. <clears throat> okay, listen, I want to ask you. The real deal battle, right? The title shot. What was your thoughts after the battle? Because that battle was so close. Yeah. It's not a one side. It's like you get caught up in a lot of battles. I feel like that'd be close. Yeah. You get yeah, like was, edged for some reason or something. It, it, was, it was a close battle, man, for sure. Like I thought real deal killed it. Um, I thought I put on a good performance too. And I think it was just one of those battles where – it was like a, a coin toss, you know, like people were watching it and the judges were like, fuck, I don't know who to give that to. And, and it was just, it came down to preference and uh, yeah, I mean, it was a good battle. I really, I really wanted to win. It was something, you know, it was, it was a goal that from when I started battle rap was really important to me to win, um, to win the title. You know, I, I got two shots. It didn't work out, but you know, in life, is as long as you go for something and, and and you try to accomplish it, accomplish it, it's better than you know, being scared and not doing it because you're afraid of taking a loss. So I, I don't regret doing doing either of them. No, nah, of course not regret it. Listen, listen, are you gonna get this title before you retire? Because I know it's a personal goal. Yeah. I, I remember even back to the past stage when you really wanted it. So like, if that like from the where. You don't care. You're going to win that title no matter what. Yeah, I mean... You it, have the skill set to do it. Yeah, it's just... I, um, it's, it's not, like, my main goal right now, but before I retire, like you said, I definitely want to get it. And thir third time's a charm. I, I, think, uh, <laughs> I think if I have a close battle for my third title shot, the judges are going to make a high. We can't. We can't let Sharon lose this one. I think that, you know, it will actually be in my face. I think they're going to be like, we're not doing Sharon if it's close. You know, it's debatable. They're going to be like, we, we can't do Sharon dirty like this again. So uh, I, I, I'm going I'm to definitely, I'm going to get it before, before it's all done. I'll go, I'll go for it one more time in my career. But if I lose three times, I don't think it's in the cards. If you lose three times, nah, B, you ain't going to be cool with that. <laughs> you ain't gonna be cool losing three times. Hey yo, I was sitting here thinking about some of your past battles, right? And we be talking about Verb has a good resume and Arsenal has a good resume, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I think people be sleeping on how many people you've actually battled. Your resume is kinda crazy too. You got nothing but top like for the most part, most of the top people, Arsenal, B Magic, Suge, Clips, John John, Cortez, Sean Schiller, Rock, Verb, Sirius Jones. Let's just like yo. That started to open me up, like, hold up, who else? But then I have to think of oh, past day, real deal, Trez, Geechee. It's just like you battled a lot of people, B. Rum Nitty, A Ward, the list Work, goes on and on. Like, yeah, a lot of DNA, Big Cannon. Like, do you consider, where do you consider yourself overall in battle rap? Like, seriously, um, do you even think like that? I don't, I don't put a personal rank on myself because I think battle rap subjective and everyone has their own leaderboards and, and ranks. But the way I, I rank myself is it doesn't matter what setting you put me in or who you put me against, I'm going to perform well and deliver. Like you could put me in front of URL, RBE, K 
king of the dot, don't flop, uh, the Philippine flip top league, and, and I'm going to perform well and, and, and I'm going to be received well by the crowd. So I just put myself in a category where I'm versatile and I could, I could get it done anywhere. But whether you put that top tier, mid tier, wherever, you know, your preference is, it doesn't matter to me. I know when I go out, when I'm booked to the event and I do the battle, that it's, it's going to go over well. But let's be serious. You be doing good in your battle. So, I mean, and you definitely feel like your top tier, I know. Yeah. If it really mattered. Like, I know you feel like that, bro. Not, you I better rock so. when everybody wasn't even battling him like that. Mm -hmm. I, I would say so. I don't, you know, I used to really care about all that, like, the tier ranking and stuff. But that's all this, that's all this background noise. At the end of the day, it's how well do you perform in your battles? I'd rather people... Uh, classify me even if they did is, is a mid tier and I was killing every battle then someone ranked me as a top tier and and because I feel like I'm top tier I, I, I choke at, in my third round I, I slack off and don't give the fans what they want so what's what's better being ranked is is a, is a top top tier but your your performances aren't aren't good or being a little overlooked like myself but you kill it every time you come out I prefer to be where, where I'm at you feel like you're underrated? Yeah, for sure. I feel I feel like anytime I'm booked for a battle, they say, Oh, Sharon, they go Sharon's gonna get cooked, man. He he's not gonna be able to to, to handle this person's pen or this person. Or I don't believe what Sharon says. Sharon Sharon's corny to me. And then I battle and they're like, yo, Sharon Sharon did his thing this time. And I'm like, What do you mean this time? I've did my I've done my thing for twelve, thirteen <laughs> years in a row. Just it just a lot of it goes goes overlooked when did it really start to bother you that that's when you felt like you was underrated when did it, did it ever like when they actually stuck out to you like yo these niggas you know i'm sure they bugging out right now i'm way better than this right here i, I like it i i'd much rather be underrated than than overrated like when i get booked for a battle i feel like if the fans aren't saying i'm gonna get cooked then i shouldn't have taking the battle when I take a battle and the fans are like yo Sharon's gonna kill this person then I'm like yeah like I didn't I didn't really take a challenge I took someone that was below below my ranking and someone I could easily beat so I like it it just adds it, it adds fuel to the fire I prefer to I prefer to prove people wrong every time so it doesn't bother me is there anybody you want specifically as of right now matter of fact I've been changing since you've been on while enough yeah um I can't even I can't even do the next season a while and out. They had me booked for for the next season. It was supposed to be uh last year right before COVID hit and then it got canceled. Uh or it got postponed and then the Nick Cannon comments with the uh with the anti he made some anti Semitic remarks. Uh you probably yeah. heard about that, right? So yeah, I remember that. show got canceled. It's back on now. But uh, I can't really, I can't do it just because of uh, the whole hotel situation, the quarantine and everything. So I can't make it out to next season. But um, hopefully it looks like the season after that I could, I could, uh, I'll be getting on. But yeah, yeah, Battle Rap's been changing. I've been, I've been, I've been keeping up with it though. I watch it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan first before anything. Yo, as far as Wild Now goes, how's that, ch how's that change your life? Wild Now was dope. It was, uh. Like, it, it just provided a, a, a different fan base. And mm. it was just crazy how many people watch it. Like, mostly in the States, it doesn't air that much in Canada. But when, I remember, like, when I'm, anytime I'm out in the States and, uh, I'm I, you know, I'm walking somewhere in the streets, I'm getting recognized by a bunch of people. And it's like 95% of them are, are are, are Wild and Out fans, and they haven't seen Battle Rap. And then when I do get recognized, it's like a, a small portion of my Battle Rap fans. So it's cool because they open up a different audience. And then um, I'm trying to bring, you know, more those fans into the Battle Rap world and show them, show them this culture too. So, you know, just with with clips, conceited and Hitman doing it, it's it's brought over some some more fans to the culture. That's actually, yeah, well, whether people realize it or not, that's that's definitely what's going on. Plus, Cassidy's bringing fans to the culture now, right now, too. Did you see yeah, the Cassidy yeah. battle, Cassidy and Hitman? Hell yeah, I watched that battle, man. And, like, I, I feel like anytime Cassidy gets booked for a battle, people are just waiting to boo him. I swear, like, they... I, I actually think Cassidy is dope 
and, and I know I'll probably get a lot of a lot of hate from that, but we got to look at it that battle rap wouldn't be the same if it wasn't about, if it wasn't for Cassidy. He just really was one of those those pioneers. The shit he did with Freeway, it changed it really changed how we look at it. And then his freestyles he were doing, whether or not you think Cassidy isn't bar for bar the best right now, every single battle rapper that you like <coughs> is inspired by his old freestyles, by his old verses. And maybe they're a bit outdated, but we got to show him respect because he set the bar for us. So a lot of us got better. Like Rum Nitty is clearly better bar for bar than Cassidy, but Cassidy set the bar for the next generation to elevate it and, and and become better. And if battle rap keeps evolving, there'll be a time where, you know, the old, where Rum Nitty will be old and, and, and Surf exactly. will be old. And yes, there's going to be yes. these new kids coming up and, and, and things change and they're going to be way better. And they're going to be like, yo, Rum Nitty's bars are, those are so out. Those are so 2020. If, if battle rap just keeps evolving like mm -hmm. that, you got to remember when Cassidy was battling, that was like 20 years ago. So we're talking about how if battle rap keeps evolving and we keep getting older and, you know, it's going to be teenagers oh, coming up watching it and evolving in 20 years, we're not going to be as good as these kids if they, if they can take it to the next level. So that's how I feel about conceited and, uh, and rum nitty. Everyone says you rum nitty is the best puncher of all time. And like like you just said, I feel like my nitty ball for ball. Yeah, but I feel like conceded at that time, you know what I'm saying, wasn't no one punching like conceded. He was that dude. It evolved now to how now Rum Nitty's is, but that doesn't take away from the way Khan was punching back then, I don't feel like. For sure. Khan, Khan he set the bar for a lot of things. He, he was the first person I see that really took name flips to another level, whether it was him or the, or, or his crew. But they were they were they were taken. Yeah, uh, I never thought about that. That's true. Yeah, they did name flips. They did. I'll put you uh, back in the day. I'll put you in a box. Like that was all conceded in S O N S. They set they set that whole thing up. And now when you when you do a battle these days, I would say like twenty to thirty percent of the material is a name flip. It's always mm -hmm. you know battle Big K and you're doing a, a K flip or Shine and you're doing this to with Shine pause. You know like expose and shine like and that was that was all you know the sun's crew they they started that so yeah. maybe maybe you know people took it to a different level but you always got to show respect to the to the innovators at the end of the day that's i didn't even think about that so that's what the name flipped I, I forgot all about that i was talking to qp yesterday i had him on he's he was one of the best to ever do it man qp's guy i mean I guess he he hasn't stayed consistent, and he it seems like he didn't really try in a few of his last battles I've seen. But his pen game is crazy. Yo, it makes no sense how dope his pen is, but it's like he's under people really, really don't really be rocking with him like that from what it looks like. He's so dope. His pen game, it's you know it's actually funny. So, um, originally before I started battle rapping in King of the Dot, that's where like that's where people found me in battle rap. I was doing battles locally in in ottawa and i was going by the name triple c because that's my initials Corey christopher sharon and before i went to king of the dot i was going to call myself triple c that was going to be my name i'm like yo i'm gonna come into this battle rap world i want to you know become elite in the battle rap world i studied everything grind time king of the dot scribble jam url or you know smack dvds and uh i watched conceded battle and it was against Ilmac and the way he took apart Ilmac's name was Ill and Mac and I thought he killed and I, I'm, a, I'm still a huge Ilmac fan but I thought conceded bodied Ilmac with these name flips and I never heard of name flips before I wasn't doing them and I said yo I gotta change I can't call myself triple C these 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 people are gonna kill these battle rappers are gonna have the triple the C I'm like, I'm just going to go by Sharon. My last name is going to be a lot harder. And that was like a defense tactic I used to, to help because I knew how effective name flips were going to be. That I'm like, I don't want nobody touching my name and beating me off these name yeah, flips. Yeah. So that's why I changed my name to, to Sharon for when I took the battle scene. But all my old friends from high school, they still call me Triple C. 
And they're like, yo, you should have never changed your name. <laughs> no. Hey, yeah, let me ask you a question. Now that you've been around in different stages, right, what's the main difference in your opinion between King of the Dot, URL, and RBE as far as battling in the crowds? It's different. Every every time you do do a battle, it's it's different. And it's not just URL, RBE, King of the Dot. It's also where are you battle in the URL crowd or the RB crowd in Atlanta is different than the crowd in in New York. It's different than the crowd in Detroit. So every single crowd is is, is different. But in terms of leagues, um, URL is a lot of it's a lot of performance. It's a big show, big lights, and it's more like they want the big moments. They want that that clip that they could put in the highlight the highlight video after. And King of the Dot is more personal angles. Uh, it's like doing an investigation on someone and bringing you did this and this battle and this and you're doing a whole personal attack on them. And RBE, I guess, is kind of like a. I don't know how to describe RB. RBE is a cool crowd because I've never heard a crowd that just cheers the league after. Like, they have the RBE chant. They do that. And I feel like RBE right now is, like, the biggest family of the league. Like, they're, I feel like RBE is a really tight-knit community right now. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of how I see it. So, I feel like I you got to change your approach to every – at least I like to change my approach to every league because I notice certain things they they prefer. Okay. Ah, uh, damn. I, you know what? Now I think I'm surprised you're not in that tournament for URL. That would have been dope. You know what? I would. I've been trying to. I've been trying to to come back to URL. Like, I'm I'm a huge fan of URL regardless. And I I did I just did the one battle on there against Suge like six years ago, I guess. But I've been talking to. Uh, to certain staff members and uh it's just like the opponents they're offering i wasn't really feeling i'm not gonna like speak i think i mentioned one in the real deal battle but uh, i've been speaking to them again recently they hit me up and i told them some people I, i'd like to battle and they said they'll try to make it happen so um i'd definitely like to come back to the url i, I think they're doing amazing with with their whole setup with caffeine and everything they got going on Oh, that's dope to see you back over there. I didn't even know you was going to say that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm definitely a fan. I mean, maybe some people think that um, I don't like URL because of the name Smack Killer, but to be honest, I only started calling myself that because I was battling people on King of the Dot and Don't Flop, and I was getting, you know, like 50,000 views, 60,000 views, and if you look at verse tracker the top like besides disaster the top 20 are pretty much all url minus like pat's day and Diz, and it's a different audience too there's a lot of people on url that don't they don't watch king of the dot they don't watch rbe they're just it's if it's if it if it's not if it's not url it doesn't count and then they that whole audience of battle rap which is actually the biggest audience wasn't familiar with me so I was trying to push King of the Dot to get me some URL battles so I could get, you know, more exposure to, to, to battle rap fans. And then, you know, some people said I started winning. So I tried to my, – my favorite battler on, um, on URL is, is Tay Rock. He's, he's always been my favorite, and I really wanted to battle him, and he called himself Smack's Killer and Smack's Gunner. So I called myself the Smack oh, Killer, hopefully, to try to bait a battle with – with Tay Rock, and then as soon as I battled him, I, I I haven't really been been using that like moniker alias, but it was just to get a battle with Tay Rock. But I don't want people to get confused and think I hate you rappers from URL or the URL league in general because I'm a huge fan of of all the talent. I thought it was a competitive thing, if anything. What's that? I thought it was a competitive thing, if anything. Like you gonna yeah, kill yeah, it's just, it's it's just like, it was just a marketing tactic. Yeah. Hey, did, did you see Mook and Rock? I did see that. I thought that was that was a really good battle. I don't know like how the fans scored it or anything, but you know what? It's one of those things where Mook's third round just kind of 
kind of won the battle for me. It maybe uh. Tay Rock got the first and the I know Tay Rock got the second in my opinion, but um, Mook's third was just too good. Mm. Mook What'd first was crazy. I had I had Mook one. Mook first was crazy too. Yeah. Mook first yeah. wave on the road was crazy. There's a lot of dope battles going to be happening now, man. There's a lot of battles dropping rapidly and whatnot. So we're going to see all kind of battles now, it seems like. Yeah, yeah there's, there's so many battles. It's kind of cool how Battle Rap changed to this streaming outlet now and, and fans are getting a lot of content for for free as well. So, I mean, everything's, everything's really changed. Um, Yo, we would have never seen this like three, four years ago. We would have never thought like... We, we, and then they're, they're not even regular events. They're like big battles, Lux and yeah. Sheriff and Mook and and let's just like yo for free. It's crazy. Super super crazy. Um, yeah, I definitely want to be a part of all of that. What's that? Tournaments for fifty thousand, hundred thousand. I didn't hear. Is, is there? Uh, I heard that they're doing a URL tournament. Is that for a hundred thousand dollars? Yeah. Yeah. That's super dope. And that well, who's in that? There's like Nitty, Twerk, Geechee. Nitty, Twerk, Geechee, um uh KCJ, mm -hmm. Yoshi G, Official, Cortez, T Top, Swave. Oh that's, Prep. Dope. that's a lot. Yeah, the Swave's in it, Prep is in it, Swamp is in it, Jerry West is in it. I think I'm missing like two people. I can't think of who else. I'm missing like two people. I think I'm missing a girl. I can't think of the other girl. KCJ, Yoshi G, official. Oh, Jack Boy Main is in it. Jack Boy Main, Valentine. Oh, Sirius Jones. Sirius Jones is in it. Nice. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's I mean, that's, that's good. It's, it's cool to see URL do judge battles too. I've never seen them do it before. So it's, uh, it's kind of cool that that leagues are experimenting and, and trying different things. So I'll definitely be tuned, tuned into that. Um, it's just a lot more on the line. I, I like watching judge battles more, even though a lot of the times I don't agree with the decisions, but there's just way more on the line. So I think it's going to be mad. It starts April 24th, man. You got to stay in tune with this. If I have two weeks to write in between, I know you could do something like that, right? The way you freestyle, that shouldn't be an issue. I would do, I would, I would do that tournament. It's just, I wouldn't be able to do it right now. But, yeah, you can't leave, yeah, you can't leave. but as That's soon as that stuff. shit gets, I think it looks like everything's going to be, um, hopefully good by October. Um, mm -hmm. That's when everyone in Canada is supposed to be done uh, the rounds of vaccinations. And hopefully we could get this shit sorted out and, and just, and just get back to normal. But I think uh, RBE did a, did an event with, uh, with a crowd, the, the Cassidy Hitman battle, there was no like, yeah. that was cool. That uh, there was no COVID outbreaks or anything like that. Nah, I haven't heard anything, so yeah. it must have been good. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. I like. Do, I want to do. I told the URL that I want to do a battle with a big crowd because I don't know. I like. I like that better when I'm battling and I get a huge reaction. It just makes me want to perform better. And when I when it's in a small room or no one there. I don't know. I just don't get much much thrill out of it. Get motivated like that? You don't. It don't make you turn up enough. I think the crowd is one of the most important parts of the battle. Like a lot of my favorite moments that I go back and rewatch, it's for the crowd reaction too. Like, uh, uh, you know, Ver, Ver, that's how you talk to your, your son against Hitman. Like, I watch that back, and I also listen to the crowd reaction for like thirty seconds too, because that's that's part of the moment. That's the the energy involved in it. And that's why I always, I always love going to events and, and talking to the fans and, 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 you know, telling them I appreciate them coming through because I find that it's like a, it's a collaboration between the, the battlers, the league and the fans, because the best classics are the ones that had the best crowds, you know, created the energy for the battlers. And like, they're, they're just as important as, as, as the battlers in a sense that, like you need a good crowd too. If you got good battles and the crowd's booing and not paying attention and talking over when you're rapping, it like it it, it ruins the footage, you know. Nah, it's a fact. It does, yeah, yeah. But yo, I mean, it's a gift and it's a curse. Because yeah. Sometimes you know them say it can be a bad thing at the same time. I've seen battles go up because of that. 
that's true, man. What 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 you've been up to? I haven't really been uh, following like the blog the blog game on on YouTube and everything. Shit, man! Everybody just been moving at this point now. The way they dropping the battle so quick. You see the Cassidy joint just came out. Like I said, the twenty fourth is a tournament. I think John John Miss Hustle's getting ready to battle Loso on bullpen. That should be like that should be in a couple of weeks. Well, I just seen uh, there's a card that got Geechee Gotti versus Clean. That's coming up. It's all kind of events. So now battle rap is like everywhere right now. It's only these two weeks is slow. Yeah. No this weekend coming up, but after this weekend, it's gonna be going crazy all over again. That's that's fire. This tournament got everybody's attention. Last time, last last week, it was it was all about Cassidy and Hitman. Yeah. Now I think it's all about the tournament now. That's a hundred thousand. Yeah, that's a everybody, lot. You know, you got T Top in it, you got Twerk in it, Nitty's in it, official. You got some nice people in this tournament. You know what I'm saying? So it's like everybody's gonna go hard. So we're gonna be here with the tournament for like the next two months. I feel like two. For three sure. Months. Who do, who do you think's gonna win? Look, I'm going for T Top, and the reason why I say that is because he's won two tournaments already. You know what yep. I'm saying? The UFF and the UW. So just off of that alone, I know he's not gonna play no game for the tournament. I've seen him do it. That's funny. That's who I was going to pick, too. Yeah? I feel he's just so consistent. Like, T-Top is, like you said, he's won tournaments. And personally, I think he's the best um, at angles of all time in, in battle rap history. Him, Mook, and probably probably, probably re real deal in Lux. Um, mm -hmm. But he... He's he's so good, man. I feel like he's underrated. Actually, I don't know how like the battle rap world puts him, uh, ranks him, but I feel like he's he's like top top five, top ten in battle rap. Oh, but then you got look, you got then you got Rum Nitty, you know, what I'm who's an all time puncher. Like you can't count him out. No, he's the so, best puncher of all time. It's gonna be uh, tough to beat Rum Nitty, but I just think how many battles they got to do four. Uh, one, two. Hey, I think four. I think. I think Rum Nitty may. I think three, either three or four. He may have an issue with stamina. That may be his weakness. I'm not sure. Like in terms of putting out that content, I I don't know personally because I don't know the way he writes. But just with how intricate his bars are, I would have to think that it would probably take him longer than the average person to to mm. write because it's shit so crazy. And that may affect his material, you know, if he has to do it every two weeks. By the time he gets to the end, he may have a little issues with, with, with performing. But I feel like T-Top, he's, I don't know, he just wins tournaments. Like, I actually think Ill Will would maybe win it if he was in it. Just because I know Ill Will could win tournaments in freestyle. Yeah, well, yeah, that would have been dope. You, yo, what what you think about Sway? You think Sway got a, you got a good chance of winning it? I think he would be a good – I think if there was odds, you know, that you'd, you'd have better odds. Like, if you picked him, you'd have a better return. So, I think if someone was going to give you better odds, that Sway would be a good bet. He's he's real dope, man. Like, Sway, just his presence is, is something different. Yeah. I think Sway could win. But also – it's it's going to be tough with the judges. There's probably going to be some robberies and, and shit too. So, yeah. I mean, I've seen I've seen uh, some of the tournaments before. I didn't agree with with all the decisions. For the most part, they were good, but sometimes you know there's going to be some ones you don't agree with. Yeah, but for a hundred thousand, man, listen, they better be paying attention, be <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they better be paying attention. But listen, it's on a tournament type setting, right? In your opinion, and the one is they're battling for a hundred thousand, right? Do you write over the head bars, or or are you direct? You feel like because there is five judges, you, and you do want to, you want them to cash it because they're judging you on the spot. Like, how do you go about that? You just say what you got to say to win, whatever you think is gonna work. Like, I don't know. I've never, you know, it's funny. The only tournaments I've ever won were outside of every time I've done a tournament that that didn't have like battle rap judges in it like i've done a few maybe two or three king of the dot tournaments and i've never won you know in the finals uh but i did uh bt tournament i won like the whole thing in the hall of fame 
I did uh, a show called Ultimate MC. It was on it was uh, on TV in Canada. I did Tourette's in in, in California. Rap, Rap City was on like Much Music in Canada. So like I've literally won every single tournament I've done, but I can't seem to win win the battle rap tournaments here. So I don't know. Like a lot of it's politics too. So it's gonna it's gonna depend uh, who the judges are. Uh. Okay, okay. Well, listen, man. This is going to be fire. I'm definitely going to keep you posted on it, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you know, and thanks for uh for hitting me up for this live, bro. I just always got love for you. You're the first blogger that ever reached out to me. It was actually for that um that BT tournament. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you I didn't even know bro, that was. I didn't even know there was bloggers before. I I had no idea that there was bloggers, and then you hit me up to do do that, and that actually like helped um jumpstart my uh like petition to get back on to on the cypher because they actually put me on the next year so that that video you did actually helped gain traction and cause awareness to it so just wanted to show love again bro appreciate you no, no that's what's up man that's what's up man hey man appreciate you coming on be in touch